Well, what? Um, Friday <laughs> is the day that rocks because it symbolizes the end of the work week. Yes, indeed. And starts the weekend. It, it for, gives... For most people. It starts the yeah. weekend for most people. Yeah. I think what, by Friday, everybody's blood pressure just has to calm down, you know? Just saying. <laughs> and you already know it's happy hour when it comes to 6 a.m. on this particular show. Yeah, and you deserve <laughs> that happy hour. Yes, you uh, do. We all work hard enough. Like, throughout yeah. the week, everybody's trying to, you know, get their money on, uh, get their work done and all of that. But, yeah, so... It's good when the weekend comes and you can rest. So, welcome to the feel-good edition of Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Titilaya Oyinsong. And I'm Yomi Okwe. You can keep up with us anywhere, as usual, mm -hmm. uh, because we are streaming live at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook. You can check us out at TVC Connect. Send in your comments yes, so. uh, on our social media platforms. We need those comments. We love them. We appreciate them. And they actually help us out. They help us do more great things on yeah. the show. Wake Up Nigeria on TVC is the hashtag you need and you also need to download the mobile app from any Android or iOS store as soon as you can so that you can go mobile with us. We can follow you wherever you are going. Yes, indeed. Now, everything's better on Fridays and so <laughs> uh, even our music, like everything we do, yeah. is going to be great uh, today. We're going to be kicking things off with a talented artist called Young Slim who raps fluently in English, Pigeon, and Yoruba. Then we bring you all the scoop on what movies are currently showing at the cinemas. You need this information. You know you need this information. You mm -hmm. need to stay close for that one. Stick around. Now, the EPL is still in full swing. And as always, the reviews and previews are going to be coming up later on on the show. Then the famous Nollywood actress, Rachel Oniga is going to be joining us right here for a chat. And she's going to be part of our game day. So this is what uh, Clara has turned you into. What has Clara turned him into? We've got another musical performance for you. And this time it will be from the a cappella, uh, coming from a music group by the name De Glamours. Yeah. Then also joining us for a chat is Nigerian comedian, actor, and musician, the one and only Clint the Drunk. I have to apply physics in a way whereby, as a reclining figure, at an angle of 70 degrees hemisphere. <laughs> I remember him from back in the day, though. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. been around for a while. You know, uh, it does show how comedy has evolved, though. Mm. When when Clint the Drunk was doing skits on stage, there was no social media yeah. to, to boost all his. Look, look I I, still, <laughs> I believe that you know, I, I believe social media has done more infinitely more harm, more good than harm. Mm. Mm. And without Instagram, just mm. think of all the people that we would not know now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and all the laughs that we would have missed mm -hmm. without Instagram alone. So yeah, it, it's been. It, good. it gives you a perspective, but even even it, it also means you need to evolve. True. Yeah, there are exactly. some people, like for instance, when when I started radio, that were the dawns, like they were really big on mm -hmm. radio, but they just did not evolve. Mm. They didn't. Evolve, they evolve couldn't evolve at the time. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's yeah. the. That's the, it's, it's cliche, but mm. yeah, that's the, that's the phrase, evolve or die. You have, yeah, you mm. have to evolve, You know, yeah. from the days of the dinosaurs up until, you know, man or humanity has always passed yeah. through that evolution of process. So, yeah. you know, you have to evolve or you die. True. Back in the 90s, right, you know, 80s and 90s, if you heard any voice on the radio, they were big. Yeah. They sounded very strong. You know? <laughs> and, they, and they talked very cool and slowly. Yes. You're welcome to Nadi FM. <laughs> there were no women. Yeah. No yeah. women on radio. Mm -hmm. No guys with light voices. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But, and there was no personality, just flat, straight. But then later on, people started coming up with personality. Yeah. Women started doing their thing. Yeah. And everybody wanted something different, something smooth. So if you wanted a deep voice, you knew where to, where to get it. If you wanted a, just a nice, cool voice in the evening, like everything just changed. Even um, the, yeah. the whole idea of a continuity announcer, you know, that was exactly what they were. They were just yeah. announcers, oh, this is the song coming. Hmm. We don't, exactly. really, we don't really know if it's a hit or not. <laughs> we don't know if they've won awards for yeah. it. We don't really care. 
is was, about to play, TV, yeah. and also, that's it. That was, you see, like when you said uh, announcer, <laughs> I remember TV also, <laughs> when it was 4 o'clock, and then the duty continuity announcer yeah. goes, so 4 o'clock to 4.30, we have uh, network news. Yeah. Uh, from 4.30, we have the kiddies uh, show. <laughs> and 5 o'clock, we have sports. And then they just give you the OT, 10 o'clock. <laughs> and that was it. If you miss it, I'm like, <laughs> 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 There's no know, graphics yeah. that remind you. <laughs> no <laughs> graphics now. Ah, we just have stylish yeah. things and all that. Yeah. But I, 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 I think of 20 years from now, mm. 30 years from now, like there are things that we hold dear now that will not be there. Mm. Yeah. There are things, there are jobs that we hold dear now that will not be there. Yeah. I mean, you have... Mm. The, the, your average taxi cab is going out of fashion. Ah, Everything yes, so. has to be... Every single person, even with bikes. Mm. So the point is that there are things now that if you don't have uh, foresight, mm. you'll be left behind. Yeah, knowledge is making everything You'll be left behind. Mm. Yeah, it is, yeah, really. So. I, I was actually thinking about the cab thing you, you mentioned, yeah. because that network then, the yellow cabs, the network then was so solid that if someone had just thrown technology in those cars, mm. you know mm. they would have owned that space. Yeah, well, so because they, they, had, tried they had a so bus stop everywhere, the uh, challenge, sorry, taxi park everywhere. So the challenge with, with, um, with technology and transportation is that Mm. Anybody that moves first yeah. usually loses a lot of money. Mm. So there are people who are tried in a number of things yeah. over the years mm. that, you know, there was something called e-taxi that came one time. Yeah, mm. true. Echo yeah. cab. Mm. Echo cab came, yeah. that's you know, true. And they all sort of had this technology thing, but they lost a lot of money. money. Mm. So it was, oh, yes, it was things, like, yeah. yes, it was like, you know, the teething process. When something's yeah. coming mm. in very new, mm. for the people that are going to make the first forays, mm. they'll make the errors. Yeah. And then people will go, look at learn. that thing, yeah, learn, learn from work from it, yeah. and come out. So it's a process. Mm. So some people have the money to, or some big firms have the money in, in sectors to go in, to do that first story themselves, yeah. see how the market is, mm. and then evolve and come back. Wow. So that's, uh, I actually, yeah, very right. I, I remember those. Think, um, you know, I think this month, this September, people need to start thinking about how they're going to evolve next year. <laughs> because this is like a three month heads up that, hey, 2020 is, is coming. Uh, is, is around the corner. Is around the corner. As in. <laughs> All right, we have to take the news now. And we start with the de latest development in the diplomatic unease between Nigeria and South Africa. The special envoy whom President Mohamedou Buhari deployed has arrived in Johannesburg for a meeting with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. He is the Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, Ahmed Abubakar, who has been received at the Oliver R. Tambo International Airport by the Nigerian High Commissioner. He is expected to meet the host president in Pretoria on Friday. But the closure of the South African High Commission in Nigeria is unpleasant news to Nigerians' Minister of Information, who says the country has provided enough security to keep foreign interests safe. Lai Mohammed addressed a news conference where he appealed to Nigerians to stay away from reprisal attacks. TVC News' Celestina Iria was there. Recent happenings in South Africa has led to the death of many, especially Nigerians. On 1st September 2019, riots and looting targeting shops owned by foreign nationals broke out in Jeppestown and Johannesburg following the deaths of a taxi driver. By the 3rd September, police had made 189 arrests for looting. Around 50 businesses owned by Africans, predominantly Nigerians, reported they destroyed during the incident. These happenings has led the federal government of Nigeria to take decisive measures to protect the life and properties of its citizens in South Africa. One of which is recalling its High Commissioner to South Africa and boycotting the World Economic Forum on Africa taking place in South Africa. The President, Mohamed Buhari, has also dispatched a special envoy to meet with the President of South Africa, Siri Ramaphosa, while Foreign Affairs Minister has summoned the South African High Commissioner to Nigeria. Those attacks... Addressing journalist, Minister of Information Lai Mohammed has admonished Nigerians to desist from reprisal attacks. The minister stressed that wrong videos and disinformation are being circulated on social media to inflame the passion and distort the plights of Nigerians in South Africa. He urged Nigerians to be wary of prevails of these wrong videos and struggling with hoodlums who may wish to hide under the peaceful protest by Nigerians to loot. To Nigerians, who are justifiably angered by the attacks on their compatriots in South Africa, not to resort to self-help by carrying out 
reprisal attacks against South African businesses and interests in Nigeria. And the federal government has assured now, Nigerians that it is ready to evacuate its citizens okay. willing Thank to return much. home from South Africa. <laughs> Celestina Iria, CVC Thank News, Abuja. Well, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa says there can be no excuse whatsoever for xenophobia or any form of intolerance. In a televised announcement, Mr. Ramaphosa noted that the debris of several days of violence and looting continues to litter many of the streets of the country. As I speak to you, the debris of several days of violence and looting continues to litter many of the streets of our country. People have lost their lives and many have been injured. Families have been traumatized. Livelihoods have been destroyed. No amount of anger and frustration and grievance can justify such acts of wanton destruction and criminality. There can be no excuse for the attacks on the homes and businesses of foreign nationals, just as there can be no excuse whatsoever for xenophobia or any form of intolerance. Now, the governor of Katsina State, Aminu Bello Masari, has started engaging the leaders of the bandits groups in dialogue as a final measure towards ending banditry and kidnapping in the state. The long-awaited meeting was kick-started at Dankolo village in Sabuwa local government area. In the last two years, communities in Katsina state had been at the receiving end of bandit attacks leading to loss of lives and property and the displacement of many people. The bandits from Dandume and Sabuwa local governments came out to honor the governors, visit and confess their involvement in the evil trade. The youths of the area enthusiastically celebrated the meeting, hoping it would mark the end of attacks on their communities. Meanwhile, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says it has obtained orders for the interim forfeiture of assets traced to the former governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, and his family members and aides. The head southeast zone of the commission listed some of the properties to include a 16-block, 96-flat buildings and eight bungalow estate hotels, two schools, shopping plaza, supermarket, hospital, and four vehicles. The schools, hospitals, and other facilities will remain functional as the commission would not like to shut them down for the sake of the students and other users. I describe the peace process as very promising and promising. Of court processes going on, we hope very soon we should update the public on the development of this. Is. But uh, the good news is that so many properties have been targeted and some are already on the interim for future. There's a lot of wire transfer of monies and all this very complicated and difficult, but we are up to the tax. Now, the Nigeria police force is now equipped with surveillance vehicles to be used in combating crimes in the southwest. The inspector general of police, uh, uh, Mohamed Adamu, disclosed this on a familiarization tour of the Ondo State Command. He says a tactical team will be deployed on the nation's highways to tackle kidnapping and banditry. We brainstorm on how to secure the southwestern geopolitical zone. And uh, having done that, I felt I needed to move from one command to the other to also sensitize the personnel to, towards implementing the resolution that was taken at the, at the security summit. We are now ready for deployment of special forces within the southwestern geopolitical zone. Well, that's it on the news update for this hour. The weather forecast is up next. Thanks, Mike. 
Yes, indeed. It now, looks like we'll be starting with the punch, right? Yes, we have the headline on the punch saying, Xenophobic attacks, 83 protesters arraigned. South Africa blames drug dealers. Nationalized shop rights, MTN, others, APC urges federal government. Government alerts Nigerians to fake videos on killings. We're unaware of attacks on South Africans, say police. Attacks, threats in cooperation in Africa, say uh, threats to cooperation in Africa, uh, according to ECOWAS. Now, a photo story here, it says, truck destroys Bayelsa Bridge, cuts off community. It's just very alarming how such a huge truck thought it could go past such a fragile bridge. Honestly, I don't know. It's all, they, that's a, a hashtag there, only in Nigeria. Um, it says here, a wanted man appointed to MC Oluomo's NURTW uh, panel. It also says NSE downgrades O and O to low priced stock. Stolen 400 million naira. Army sends missing soldiers commander on course. And uh, it also says here, police OPC partnership will solve insecurity, according to Ghani Adams. Right at the top here, it says PNID. AGF demands contract details from CBN, 13 ministers. Nigeria tragically living on borrowed time, say the World Bank. And finally, aviation fuel price rises by 143% in three years. That's what we have on the cover of the punch. News. All right, let's take a look at the Vanguard. Mm -hmm. South Africa dares Nigeria, uh, says no compensation for victims. We must do everything to ensure victims are compensated, says Onyema. And many Nigerians in our country are drug traffickers, Pandor, uh, South Africa's foreign minister says. When South Africa shuts mission in Nigeria, federal government denies knowledge of shutdown. 83 persons arrested over xenophobic violence arraigned in Lagos court. Go on the offensive now against South Africa, APC tells Buhari. And some other stories up here. Um, Southeast governors won't apologize to IPOB, Umahi says. And Labor rejects federal government's plan to concession 22 teaching hospitals. And Jim Ovia pulls out of World Economic Forum events in South Africa. Uh, at the bottom here, we have some other stories. And uh, NSC reclassifies Owando as low price stock. Cybercrime, NCC bids to regulate use of internet. And Lagos tragedy, surviving child of family of seven dies. And finally, banditry, uh, Katsina residents, Islamic scholars seek divine intervention. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. <clears throat> we also have the Guardian newspaper here. It says on the cover of the Guardian, lawyers split on $9.6 billion debt. Irish firm may opt for talks. Nigeria completes sovereign immunity. Avoid payment. No, it doesn't apply in commercial transactions. And again, uh, it's continued on page six. Boycott South African businesses, Oshomole urges Nigerians. We've not recalled High Commissioner. Presidency clarifies. Fraudsters target Nigerians evacuating from South Africa. And uh, <clears throat> Nigeria's food crisis alarming, the World Bank warns. And finally, faulty boundary behind TIV Jukun crisis, uh, federal government insists. That's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. Mm. Uh, we have some breaking news, but let me just take this uh, cover of the Daily Sun first, mm. and then we'll take that. Uh, South Africa dares Nigeria, uh, declines to pay back, to pay attack victims compensation. Uh, federal government to prosecute looters of ShopRite, MT and others, and government mulls legal action. Southeast governors to IPOB, no apology for you. And Lagos moves to generate billions from waste. And Buhari vows to free local government finances from governor's control. Finally, EFCC nabs suspect on FBI list, 53 others in four states. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Sun mm. this Friday. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so we have some breaking news. Um, President Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe, former President Mugabe, mm. uh, who ruled Zimbabwe for more than 30 years, mm. has um, passed away. So he's dead. Oh, wow. And uh, I think he has been in Singapore for a while mm. on, um, 
on a medical trip for over a month mm. and he's finally passed away, mm. I think overnight. So that's uh, the breaking news that we have. Okay, uh, obviously we will be bringing you more information uh, as we receive it. But it's about time for us to take a quick break and we will be back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Traffic update is next. Good morning and thank you for staying tuned. It's time for the Lagos traffic updates on Wake Up Nigeria. It's such a beautiful Friday. And you know, Lagos roads are usually busy during this period. Right this moment, we're about to give you tips on how to quickly get to you to your destination. Uh, now, you can send in messages, of course, on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter using the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Uh, we need to know what the traffic situation is wherever you are and maybe even take a traffic selfie, okay? All right, so this morning, we are gonna start off from uh, Oru Shoki to Obalinde. Yes, I have a penchant for uh, starting from that area. Okay, so um, from what I can see here, it will take you just about 40 minutes uh, to get to Obalinde from Oru Shoki. Yes, the bridge is as good as free at the moment. Unless, of course, uh, there's something deceiving me on the, in that regard, because I'm actually surprised that it would take just about 40 minutes uh, to get to the island. But that's actually the situation right now uh, from... Um from Oru Shoki, you would experience pockets of traffic, uh, but it's not so much, just light traffic, okay? Uh, but as soon as you get on the bridge, my goodness, it's free flowing. Uh, somewhere around the Unilag area, that's the Unilag area of the third mainland bridge, you will encounter traffic and it's uh, bumper defender traffic, then it eases off to light traffic, after which it's a smooth sailing uh, way, road for you. So you will find out that you would go all the way, oh my gosh, all the way till you're almost at Adekule. It's free flowing traffic this morning. It's a beautiful time to be on the third mainland bridge. Feels like a holiday, doesn't it? And afterwards it becomes light traffic, then uh, really heavy traffic, like serious bumper to fender traffic until you get off the bridge. Uh, but as you're approaching Osborne area, it becomes light traffic. In fact, the light traffic continues until you get off uh, uh, the Osborne Bridge area. So from there, it's light traffic till you arrive at Obalinde. So if that is uh, your access this morning, hey, good news for you. Uh, looks like you might be at work in quick time. In fact, faster uh, than you can imagine. Now let's take a look at another access uh, that is very traffic prone. Uh, talking about the Ileko access uh, heading to Oshodi. Uh, this morning, from what I can see, uh, the traffic situation isn't so bad. I mean, you would go from Ileko bus stop this morning, and you'd see that the traffic is light. So let, let me give you the time. You won't spend uh, more than about 55 minutes uh, to get to uh, Oshodi this morning from Ileko. Here's why. From Ileko bus stop, it's free-flowing traffic. Not the usual light traffic leaving Ileko bus stop. It's actually free-flowing traffic until you're approaching Iyanopaja. Now, when you are approaching Iyanopaja, the traffic begins to build up. It's light traffic initially. And then from light traffic, it goes to heavy bumper to fender traffic. But as soon as you go past the bridge that's on the bridge Iyanopaja, the traffic gets lighter. I mean, it eases out, becomes just light traffic and... Um, just as you are approaching uh, the, just just as you are approaching, uh, just after the first bank, yes, that's where you realize that the traffic eases out completely, and it goes on and on and on and on. Oh my goodness! Till you get to Dokwemu. Now, getting to Dokwemu, there's light traffic, but it's very light, so don't panic. Uh, but the traffic eases out immediately as soon as you go past the bridge. Uh, so it's uh, light till uh, you are approaching cement. So when you're getting to cement, it becomes bumper to fender traffic. But the bumper to fender traffic isn't so bad. It's just going to be for about three to five minutes uh, because afterwards, it's uh, especially when you're approaching the Onilia Kiri, it's free flowing traffic, believe me. It, and that free flowing traffic continues until you're around the. Uh, uh, Mangoro side where there's light traffic again after which it eases out and it's free-flowing traffic till the usual point 
Ilezik. <laughs> so when you get to Ilezik, it's light traffic, and then bumper to fender traffic all the way to national. Yeah. So when you get to national, it's uh, that's where the traffic actually eases out a bit. Okay. Uh, so when you get to national is where the traffic uh, will ease out. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll be fine. After the national, of course, uh, the traffic becomes lighter and then it's free flowing traffic till you get to the arena as usual. That's the arena at Sushudi. And it's at the arena you encounter light traffic and then Boba Tifedo traffic approaching the Oshudi Bridge. So 55 minutes, that should be your time to go to Oshodi from Ileko this morning, which is not so bad, really. All right, uh, I wonder if you guys have any traffic updates for me. Okay, but I'm not sure we have enough time, Mary. Yeah. You know, we actually have pushed it a little on mm. time. Yeah. yeah, but I uh, I do have just a small update on okay. the Ibafo area. You know, yesterday mm. there was a lot of traffic and also uh, on Wednesday as well when the truck fell and caught fire. So mm. the truck has been cleared. There's still a bit of traffic there because of the debris on the road, but it's now free flowing. So it's if you're leaving... Uh, if you're leaving Lagos this morning, it's not as bad as it was yesterday when it would have taken you two hours. Mm. Now you can leave, you can pass that area within 15 minutes. So, okay. so that's, that's a good okay. thing. All right. That's yeah. good. That's Thank really good. You. Anyway, I'll join you guys in the kitchen right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So right. we're working with a sad news this morning about yeah. the Zimbabwean president, mm. uh, former president, mm. sorry. Yeah, Robert former Mugabe. president. Well, he was 95 yeah, years old. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, so, for some people, yeah. it will be sad, but we are celebrating him today on Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although you are. Yes, I feel like we had okay, a so wait, A lot of people, like, so Robert Mugabe, when he was president, was one of the um, most controversial presidents. He was. In Africa. And, uh, Oh, and it, 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 it sounds ironic, but mm. he was one of those presidents that I actually really looked forward to in the news. Oh, oh they mean. <laughs> Yes, because Okay, so guy... well, I, I, I can understand where she's coming from, yeah. because one thing that marked his later years as presidency, yeah. apart from, you know, was his very eloquent exactly. way of going against oh, the West. Yes. So he had this way of feeling that Africa was still uh, being, you know, we're still oppressed. being oppressed yes. by the West. And he had it the way, this way, it was the way he put it. Yeah. So he had so many quotes. Mm. And there's some fake quotes that are yes. that, <laughs> that, <laughs> put on Mugabe. You know, you know Mugabe, um, to give us just a sense of history, um, he's, he was a revolutionary. Yes. True. Started and that. being a revolutionary, you know, it was, it was really about mm. white oppression, especially mm. in the, you know, the southern part of Africa. 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 South Africa, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Uh, Rhodesia, Swaziland, Swaziland, all those Swaziland. areas. So uh, there was a lot of oppression there because the white man refused, was refusing to give them independence. And so he was, he was uh, the revolutionary, they are, they are Che Guevara, the yeah, guy. Yeah. So the guy at the forefront. Yeah, warrior, so soldier. eventually soldier. He, was, he became the prime minister or he took over. Mm. In Zimbabwe in 1980, as far mm. back as 1980. I mean, yeah. all of you weren't born. Yeah, well, let's hear what. And so, anyway, <laughs> so after taking over, you know, mm. of course, you know, he, he started to nationalize all the country's assets, just, you know, the usual way that mm. um, all these revolutionaries do. Yeah. So, it becomes, you know, so he tried to make it a communist country or a socialist, what well, he called it a socialist country. And then after a while, you know how this No, it was go. actually so many things. Yeah. It was different people at different times. Yeah, so after a while, the way, the, you know how these things go, after 10 years, oh. 20 years, time just took mm -hmm. its toll, corruption mm -hmm. came into the mix. Yeah. And but yeah, so by... three decades now. It's more than three, three decades. decades. No, so three, three, as, three as president, right? Three. Prime Minister before then. Yes, yes. Prime Minister. Inaugurated 1980, President Baba, Baba 1987, I'm going to be there as president. my head around. Yeah. Three decades, 30 yeah. years. 37 years. Come on. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting yeah. how he even pulled it off. You know, how it, it even happened. And uh, I'm not sure. Call it, him the strong man. <laughs> yeah, but I'm 93. A strong man for... By the time, by the time <laughs> he was leaving as president, he mm. already had his policies being known as Mugabeism. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so but it's yeah, even something that I think is I being mean, studied at school. At 93, which was two years ago, mm. yeah. before he stepped down. I mean... Yeah. Everybody was wondering so, what the Zimbabweans were doing. Like, yeah. like come on, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't understand. They were fond of him. You know, Mandela fought for him. Yeah. 
Wait, uh, Mandela fought for South Africa. We know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he stepped down after a term. He felt, okay, he had done as much as he could. Let's yeah. leave when the ovation is loudest. Uh, but, you know, sometimes <laughs> when people have, um, are in a particular position, it's not usually a case of greed or being power hungry, as people think. Yes, that might be a factor. But there's also that thing of nobody else can do it better than me. Okay. And that's why most of them feel like they need to really hold on to power. Yes, you know, someone was at the end of the day. Yeah. Set up, yeah. Someone years, set up in though. that. A success without <laughs> a successor is a failure. Mm. True. From the moment you enter, you should start grooming a successor. So if by 10, 10 years, or let's say no more, two terms, you've not still groomed somebody, or guy, you failed, though. He was president for you 30 know, years. You exactly you know, it's 30 also years. The same thing you with, failed. It's and prime minister, <laughs> seven years before. Yeah. It's you the failed. same thing with Paul Kagame of Rwanda. Of Rwanda. Of president right mm. now. I mean, he's, we, we see the development. It's happening. Like, mm. I'm and you. everyone is also, they also, there's also that speculation that he may toe in the line of Robert Mugabe. Wow. And he's still pretty so. young, but. Yeah. Is, I don't it, think so. There are speculations because based on, and based on also some, you know, policies okay. that he's put in place, mm. and then some other moves that he's made. He's making, yeah. Exactly. Mm. But, but I think he's aligned with the West. But he's working. He's working. He and he's is aligned. working. He's aligned with the is West. Working. Is, uh, but the issue is, must you be aligned to the West to be a successful leader in leader. Africa? Because Thank it's you. becoming questionable. Yeah. Mm. Anybody who isn't aligned to the West is seen as a terrible person. Even when, or a bad <clears> even when you are a bad person. Yeah. Mm? As long as you are aligned to the West, it's beginning to seem like, oh, all is well with the world. But if you are, in quotes, a bad person, but you're not aligned to the West, then everything is done to oust you from power. Mm. And mm. that's something that we Africans really need to look into. So I, I, okay, so it about that, I think, I think that um, it's like, someone say, tell me your friends, I'll tell you who you are. Mm. Zimbabwe, apart from, I, I don't know, I don't know, like, you know, Africa, I, I think God was just partial and biased to Africa. Zimbabwe is one of the most naturally blessed, blessed countries, countries, even in Africa. In Africa mm. That yes. is naturally, Zimbabwe yeah, is like true, top, yeah. you understand? And this, the, the West virtually have almost nothing, mm. you understand? Mm. So, I, so for now, like, uh, there's a lot that we can aspire to mm. where they are. Yeah. There's a lot we can aspire to. I mean, the G7 was there. Um, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa was there, Paul Kagame was Kagame there, was there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the Ivorian president, and then of course the president of the AFDB, mm -hmm. and it was there. You know, this, this, they were, they were, they were, so they called them the leaders of Africa, trying to push. You know, I think they are not the leaders of I Africa. Think, I, they were I, representatives because it's a, it's a, it's a rotational, rotational thing. thing yeah. Yeah. So as they are there this year, they might not be there next year. Another true. set of leaders. True. Yeah. True. So, so wait, yes, I'm, but I, I, I somewhat oh. kind of agree with Mike because amongst when Whenever the G7 summit happens, the Rwandan president is always one of the, pre he's like, it's a thing, he's always, he's always invited, always there. Yeah. Yes, always there. yes, but you remember that he's not the only one who gets regular invitations. There are some presidents that yeah, come yeah. every other year. Yeah. There are some that come every three years. There are some that are invited every four years. So, I anyways, think sometimes it, it, also, it also has to do with relevance. If you're yes. very relevant. South, yeah. South, yeah. yeah. South Africa is always there. Yeah, South Africa is always there. Always. Exactly. Always. Rwanda is always there. So yeah. it's, it's, it also has to do with a lot of relevance. So, so if you yeah. are relevant, and which is also why we need to focus as Nigeria, we need to going really focus back, on what we're going doing. Going back to like, Mugabe, going yeah. back to Mugabe, you know, um, well, May he rest in peace, mm. you know. Uh, but he was a freedom fighter who turned into a dictator. Mm. That's the that's probably how it's gonna be written down in history. All these other things we're saying. I'm going to miss his quotes. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can always Google his quotes and probably bring a few of them. Yeah. Mugabe quotes. <laughs> we'll find them. Please but, don't create a quote and ascribe it yes, to Yes, please, it has to be legit. Um, Robert Mugabe's quotes. Please use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Ah, it's Wake Up Nigeria. The very best music comes from here and the most talented artists as well. Now, Afolayo Zakios, aka Young Slim, is a Nigerian rapper who started doing music at the age of 13. He's still a young guy when you see him. Uh, he raps fluently in English, Pidgin, and Yoruba language. And today he's going to be performing his latest single titled Beast Mode. Young Slim. Okay. Yeah, I can see that you're young and you're slim. <laughs> so, is that where you got the name from? All right, so you, you've been doing music since you were 13. That's a few years ago. And um, a big show of Pigeon, Yoruba, English. And you're just trying to appeal to various audiences, right? So talk to us about your appeal. Yeah, you can put the mic, yeah. Um, 
I rap in English, Pigeon and Yoruba mm -hmm. because of the... Actually, when I started, I started with pure English. Mm. But because of the way Nigeria is and just to make people relate to what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I had to mix it up. You mix it up with Yoruba and, all, yeah. with, and, and, and Pigeon English and all of that. Of course, the, the acceptance and the response to your music has been great. So yeah, a lot of young great. people respond to you. They understand what you're saying. So yes. talk to us about that response as well. Um, firstly, in, when I started in English, people didn't get to respond yet, mm. kind of. But when I started mixing it up with Yoruba and Pigeon, mm. Yes, yeah, so I got new fans and yeah, 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 yeah. I got a lot of um, like comments, yeah, great comments on my page mm. and nice, followers. nice. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about the influences. I mean, when, when we talk about hip hop now, it, okay. you know, things have really changed from yeah. you know when you were younger. Yeah. So your your modern day influences in music. Who do you listen to? Like, if I pick up your phone now and look through your playlist, who am I gonna find? Um, you're gonna find. I listen to Nasty C. Yeah, Nasty C, yeah. Yeah. That's, then in Nigeria, mm. I listen to Black Bones. Black Bones, not Emaya bad. Emaya Baga. Okay. Vector the Viper. All right, all right. Yeah. So inter how about internationally? Um, internationally. Um, uh, do you like J. Cole, Kendrick? Yeah, J. Cole. This, J. Cole is my favorite. Okay, J. Cole is your favorite. Yeah. Okay, so uh, J. Cole always raps about a, 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 lot, a lot of things that affect society and yes. people, yes. Um, human rights and, and stuff like that. Do you also channel that in your yes, own I music? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm actually working on an EP. Mm. Yeah, so it's a mixture of um, society. Um, I talked about love too, yeah. yeah. Talked about a little bit of love. Yeah, little bit yeah, of, everybody yeah. needs some love <laughs> on a Friday. And so uh, this gentleman is going to be doing beast mode right now. Yes. And that's him. Young Slim, ladies and gentlemen. Me I no come here to play. I want to tell me us live every day, no holiday. If you don't like me, my nigga, feel some type of way. But I'm all about the money, show to your party, you go away. Frag brand new, Mr. Ross, that's the call. Listen, it's right. Yeah. That's Young Slim. Bit young one, Slim. I, I, I like wonderful it. way to kickstart the Friday yeah. morning. You call it Beast know? Mode. Beast Mode. Yeah. Wow. What oh God, Jinja, oh, <laughs> take everything. All right, so we're looking at movies in the cinema, and of course, you know I always do it with Yomi and uh, MM here. We'll talk about the movie Bad Boys. Just get ready for it. Just yeah, get ready yeah. for it. But just before that, first movie you can check out this weekend in the cinema, Nollywood, My London Slave, is a story that centers on a young lady called Ada, a graduate in the medical field who just became a doctor. Now, one of her dreams is to marry a London bobo. Now, luck shine on her when her bestie and childhood friend successfully introduced and matched her with her London-based handsome brother. But you know, things don't always go as they should. Let's check out the trailer for London they Slave. Believe like babies. Of what use is the church if we cannot attend to the needs of our faithful members? The money is here. Oh, you think I'm not traumatized? That was my first child you killed, you idiot. I'm telephoning from Solid Police Station. What are you, why, ma'am? Oh, my God. Hey, mom. Oh, my God. Hey. She's gone mad. Eh? So you are training my team. Yeah, yes. get out of my house. Please think through before you do something that you may regret. But when did my mother become such a... Closer no, here. no, I think we need to see the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm just saying because... People need to know, it's 7 a.m. There is no reason a day to delay uh, getting your weekend started because we're right here uh, bringing you the very best of breakfast entertainment. Just tune in, tune to TVC once it's 6 a.m. And we're going to be right here where you need us to be because we're going to be giving you all the information and entertainment you need to start off your weekend the right way. Mm. 
Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, this is a fresh edition of your favorite show. Yeah. One hour has gone by already. That was a quick one hour, by the way. Yeah, very quick. Very quick. Anyway, my name is Yomi Oke. Okay. And I'm Titi Laya Oinso. Now, as we've been trying to inform you, the weekend has begun. <laughs> the second hour has begun. Yeah, but so get your groove on. You might need to move somewhere. So we need to tell you that you can stream with us. TVCEntertainment.tv is the website. Yeah, and, and on Facebook as well, at TVC Connect. Yes, so those mm. comments. Yes, uh, the ones that tell us how good we look. Yeah, we love them. Thank you. Thank you. Use our hashtag, <laughs> Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. And uh, hey, yeah, make sure you... I'd also like to remind you that we have our mobile <laughs> app available. So you can download it uh, both on the Apple iStore mm. and the Google Play Store as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, once you have that, all those things we just told you, you can watch us from anywhere in the world. And uh, you should really check it out. Yeah, in the kitchen this morning. Yes, sir. M's M -M is going to be uh, with Chef Debbie. Of course. Why do you call me M's? <laughs> M's. <laughs> anyway, Debbie will be here shortly. She's probably on her way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Let's hope she's not stuck in Lagos traffic. That, Let, let's, let's hope that she's not stuck. That flamingo is so amazing on your outfit, M.M. Mm -hmm. I have Thank to say. Thank you, Titi. That flamingo oh. is like, what? I'm it's not on a wear well. Yeah, I really like, hope they can see enough of it. It's yeah. MM that can put why, why, does it, why does it look like a <laughs> DIY? They, really? Right? Right? Really? Yummy. We should, do, like make, we should do this on, on the, the show. Yeah. Like, Did you? You stitched no, it on. No, it's too. It looks too well done. She tacked this flamingo mm. to her chest. <laughs> it looks really lovely. Are you serious? <laughs> she pulls off some yeah. amazing outfits. Yeah. Anyway, Titi, thank let's, you. Let's go to this morning's highlights. Uh, the rest of the highlights we've got for you. Uh, the EPL is still going, uh, ongoing, and uh, as always, Mike is on standby for a review later on on the show. Then we have famous Nollywood actress, producer, director, veteran. Someone a lot of Nigerian actors look up to, Rachel Oniga, is going to be joining us right here for a chat. So this is what uh, Clara has turned you into. Well, you heard Young Slim earlier. Now this time around, we're going to be bringing you more music and have an a cappella group in the building, Day Glamours. <laughs> Yes, Sue. And then joining us for a chat and hopefully to crack us up a little, Nigerian comedian, actor, and resident drunkard, Clint the Drunk is going to be in the building. They give you eat gas or food. And it's not advisable to pass gas in the plane. And, <laughs> and of course, Fridays are game day. Luckily, I don't happen to be on the game plan today. Which one oh, is not lucky? Today. Yeah. Really? You know how happy I am whenever I'm not. Okay, but you always do so well at these games, so yeah, I don't right. know why. Uh, yeah, I do so well at cracking everybody up. Oh, <laughs> well, it's all part of the fun. It's all part of the fun <laughs> yes. games. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, I, I, I love um, when we have people like uh, Rachel Onika on the show today. Mm. I remember the first movie I saw her in is that would have been way was back, right? Old Blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember Old yeah, Blue? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, have I don't part, remember the story. Part one, it. part two, part three. That was when I knew that Nigerian movies were always divided into <laughs> three. But that particular one was such uh, an eye opener. Uh, and her emotional performance for me was what you know, made me realize that, you know, hey, Nigeria had some very powerful actors because mm. she was really, really emotional. And I, I can still remember her giving a lot of advice to people in the film. And it just felt like, ah, this woman, <laughs> if I see her one day, gonna she's going to advise me, she's going to impact my life. You know, <laughs> MMG, I just wants, always felt that way. Yeah, I'm just sorry. to want to be an actress. <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> it was one of the things and that. And then like, why are you asking me this? <laughs> you know, I want to put out that one. Why are you putting me, some, me on the spot? She gave me some information. <laughs> why? Well, we have to head over to the <laughs> news. <laughs> and then let's discuss your career it's now. Saved by the news bulletin. <laughs> exactly. Let's discuss your career now. Let's so go over. Career let's options. Go. We need to update people what's on the most important things yeah. happening around Don't the world. Worry. Yeah. All right, now we're going to be starting with the news. Yes, 
people, as we all know, it's Friday. It's fry food. Yes, people, we are having so much fun here in the studio. And of course, with me in the kitchen this morning is Chef Debbie. And this morning, guys, she's taking us to India, right? Yeah. Ah. All right, this one she's making chicken kodimas. Okay, so you and I are having this yes. conversation. Yes, chicken kodimas. It's Indian-inspired food. And um, it's funny how, because we have like a few Indian guests in the studio, and they'll be teaching us um, things about our feelings later on on the show. So it's quite coincidence that we had them in mind, <laughs> you know, when, talk, when thinking about this recipe. So let's talk about the ingredients we're working with this morning. Okay, so I'll be using chicken breast. Yeah. And um, sesame oil. Okay. Grand masala, curry, paprika. This is a uh, tomatoes and um, peppers already blended. Okay. Then you have ginger and garlic. Okay. I see that there's a little bit of onions in here. Yes. Okay. Then we have eggs. Mm -hmm. Seasoning cubes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So talking about chicken pudimas, let's give you an idea basically of what pudimas are. So basically, they are actually, it's an Indian recipe that um, Indian spices used in your chicken. And then you shred your chicken. So basically, shredded chicken with Indian spices. That's all. And of course, we are having our Irish potatoes to go, right? Sweet oh, sorry, potatoes. sweet potatoes to go. Sorry, I didn't take note of that. We have our sweet potatoes to go with that. It's going to be so much fun here on the show. I can't wait for um, us to get started on this morning's recipe. But whilst you're still trying to, you know, put things in order, we have Yomi, um, who's on the couch with a guest from our leather fair. What's up, Yomi? Now, in recent years, uh, since Nigeria began to place an increased focus on uh, what it wants to do in the area of expansion of uh, various industries. Now, uh, of course, Nigeria is, has become a, a great place for non-oil sectors. And the Nigerian leather industry, uh, particularly, is, uh, has you know, witnessed a, a resurgence in recent years. And the industry has increased uh, the level of attention in small uh, doses and some invest investments as well. Now, the Lagos Leather Fair was designed to address the issues and promotes talent and create awareness with a potential, potentially uh, powerful, uh, of course, foreign exchange earner for us here in Nigeria. And I'm here to talk more about uh, this platform and, of course, the fair that is going to be taking place tomorrow and Sunday. We have Femi Olaebi, who's one of the organizers. Thank you so much for joining Hi. us today. Glad well, to be here. Thank so, you. So, uh, Lagos uh, Leather Fair, this is the third one, the third edition that's yes, taking place. It is. And uh, it's really nice. Tell us how it's been so far and the responses we've had uh, um, in the past two and, of course, uh, for this year as well. Yes, it's been surprisingly successful. Um, I say that because we did not expect that even a first edition will get such a uh, a discerning audience walk into our space, you know. So basically, the idea was birthed out of frustration, I would say, because I've been playing in this field for many years, and I felt that the challenges were just not going away. And I thought, hey, you know what? Instead of sitting down and complaining, why don't you just do something about it? And so I conjured up this idea, which has spiraled into what it is today, and thought, um, in order to uh, attract some attention mm. to that leather space. Why don't we create a platform where we can all come together? There was a lot of talk about fashion, mm. um, lots of uh, uh, platforms that were that had that were focused on fashion, yeah. but there was really nothing that was bringing the leather designers together. Right. And I felt that we needed a voice. Mm. And because I'd been in the industry for so long. I believe I had the experience to bring that kind of um, event together. Yeah. Uh, it, seemed uh, like, it seems like the fair itself, especially the first one, it just opened up uh, the industry and opened up many people's yeah. uh, attention. And suddenly yes. people are discovering that, oh, wow, we didn't know Nigerians did this. That's uh, right. That. That's Were right. you also surprised by uh, the kind of responses that you uh, received from industry players who were relatively unknown, maybe out of Lagos, yeah. and people making bags and shoes and, and things like that, and you suddenly discover that, oh, wow, we didn't know that all these guys could do all this? Yes, definitely, because when we started out um, putting the applications out, the first time we got over 350 applications. Wow. And I was like, where have they been? Where they, I mean, they were crawling out of exactly, the woodwork. You know? yeah. I was like, are there these many leather designers in, in this space? But we discovered 
discovered, and we only wanted to start with about 50, mm. um, but what we then did was we were very careful to bring in those that were doing very good quality work. Mm. And we encouraged those that couldn't make it to just watch and see how to play in that space. Also, what surprised us was the, was the audience that walked in. The audience was extremely surprised at the quality of work that was done there. Because I guess Nigerians were not expecting such good performance exactly. by players, yeah. you know. And um, they were like, there were comments like, why are we all buying New Solar or why are we all buying Prada? When, when, we, you have know, when we have all great this. quality And stuff what has happened there. in the past few years is that the leather designers, the younger ones, the up and coming ones, are looking at the older established ones and saying, you know what, I can do just as good. Mm. I can do even better. You know, so everybody's looking at the quality of their work, they're in making improvements, the performance, they're performing much better. Mm. You know, and um, one, of the, um, one of the highlights of this year, for example, is an auction in an Undisclosed location. Like, location. Yeah, I, I like that you started um, talking about uh, talking about um, this year's events. Now mm. it's going to be taking place tomorrow. Yes. And on on Sunday as well. That's right. And that's in Victoria Island at yes, the Harbour Point. Yes, Harbour Point. Now. Um, Advancing the conversation, taking the conversation forward, yeah. um, engaging the international audiences, uh, mm -hmm. getting you know, in, um, attention to the Nigerian leather market. What are the things that you hope to achieve with this, uh, with this year's event, and how do you want to bring? Um, how do you hope to bring international audiences uh, mm -hmm. to this as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we started out with a theme called changing the narrative the first year, and we did change the narrative because we created that awareness. Mm. And the second year was the new possible. This is what is possible with, within this space. And this year, like you have rightly said, it's advancing the conversation. We want to take this conversation to a totally new level. We need to stop talking. We need to start doing, mm. you know. And we're saying that the big players need to sit at the table with us, the practitioners, because we are the ones that understand what's going on in that space. Yeah. Sit down. Let's sit down together. Let's start working out workable solutions, you know, um, instead of... Uh, just making policies mm. that are unworkable. Let's go back to the drawing board and say, okay, this is how we can take the leather industry forward. Mm. These are the processes that we need to do. Do these are the things that we need to um, do. We need to train. We need to um, ensure that if we want to be a country that exports our leather, we need to produce exportable goods wow. you know so basically that's, that's amazing amazing thank you so much for, for joining us uh, Femme, this morning and thank hopefully i uh, wish you all the best in, in thank the, you in, in the fair taking place so it's at harbor point tomorrow and sunday yes. uh, in victoria island and i'm sure that you just take a visit there you, you're going to be absolutely blown away by the quality of work that you see the lagos leather fair anyway we're going to be taking a break now and we'll be right back with more on wake up nigeria Welcome back. Uh, now, uh, there is no EPL match this weekend. Of course, that is due to the international break qualifiers, friendlies. That are, of course, you know, CAF, UEFA and the friendlies. Nigeria, of course, will be playing on Tuesday. But the FIFA Pro list was released yesterday and EPL players featured the most ever for the first time. Now to discuss this with me today is a sports analyst, Olamide. You're welcome. It's great to have you. Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> You're welcome. It's always nice okay. to be here. So, yeah, so we definitely had something to talk about the EPL, and that is because the FIFA Pro List was released yesterday. Now, the FIFA Pro, of course, is a FIFA Professional Football Association where they come together to vote the best yes. 11. Exactly. But then a 55-man list was released, and for the first time, for the first time, the EPL has more names than the La Liga. What does this say? What does this say about the EPL? Okay, I, I think um, over the last couple of seasons, uh, mm. when you compare both leagues, you see that uh, the EPL uh, have had individual clubs improve significantly. So, yeah. And what they've done is they've gone to this other top clubs in Spain and Italy and uh, France, and they've picked their very best. Now, their own very best is not even making the top four mm. in England. And what that means is that competition uh, has improved, and mm. of course the, the 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 delivery from 
individual players yeah, as also players. you know oh. now considering that um over the, the the last four teams in the champions league were english teams yes the last four teams were english teams uh oh no two uh the champions league and uh, the uh, europa and league of we course had arsenal chelsea yes. and of course the finals Liverpool. the finals the last yes. four in both competitions and manchester city of course coming there with eight players liverpool coming there with seven players yes. and all of that moving forward what do you think the prospects for the epl you know, normally football comes in cycles. Of course. It does come in cycles. How long will this cycle of the English dominance, how long do you think it will reign? Okay, so um, as you know, um, the English Football League happens to be one of the highest earning mm. leagues when it comes to television rights. Definitely. And what that means is that uh, different clubs now have more resources. Mm. So I think the cycle is going to take a while before it breaks because with that kind of resources, what it means is that the football clubs are improving, not just technically, they're improving with well, their equipment, they're improving mm. with uh, their coaches, they're improving with, uh, you know, uh, their approach towards the modern game. And what that brings is that you find players playing for Watford mm. who can actually stroll into AC Milan and also play. So <laughs> no, no, I'm no, just saying because you didn't say that it's, by AC Milan. It's, it's definitely that. getting to that level. Okay. I mean, when you compare the, the teams outside of the top six in mm. the Premier League, you'll, you'll, you'll envy the kind of players they have. Look at uh, Wolves, for example. They have the likes of Motinho. They have Motinho, they have, Motino, the they have of, Neves, uh, Neves, yes. They have uh, uh, the, the goalkeeper, Reed Patricio, Patricio, who is, These of are course, a Portuguese national team across, you know, goalkeeper. Europe. So I think the cycle is going to be very difficult to break. Mm. However, I'm, I'm also not surprised that we have those kind of players. Those kind of players. You know. Okay, wonderful. But um, even though it's going to come back, of course, the upper weekend, after four rounds of matches, Liverpool is on top. This is a little bit, it's a kind of a little bit of what happened last season. Yeah. Liverpool is on top. Manchester City is chasing two points behind. How well, I mean, I mean, considering that Manchester City now, they, don't have, they have only one recognised centre-back left. That is Nicolas Otamendi. Yeah. Emeric Laporte and John Stones are injured. You understand? Do you think that Manchester City, is, isn't this the time they are at their weakest? Shouldn't teams cry for blood now? Shouldn't they take out the blood now? I, I totally agree that uh, Manchester City happens to be in the weakest ever, ever since Pep Guardiola took over the team. Mm. Uh, because there's only one uh, recognized fit central says, defender. Central defender. Well, is hoping that um, John Stones can come back from injury mm. and step into that position. However, they're still shocked because there's no other uh, recognized uh, defender. And I, I, I think Pep Guardiola is going to have to change his, uh, his system, mm. rotate. Of course, we know that he can always play either of the uh, Fernandino can Fernandino do something, can but, it, but it's not going to be as good. Rodri can play there. Rodri, Rodri could yeah. play there, yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. All right, so um, moving up there, moving up there, the round five of matches, of course. Um, Chelsea, Chelsea, Lampard, they've been in the. I don't know if I say Lampard has had a, a bad season so far. It started badly. I don't think so. I, I think don't Chelsea, think so too. I think Chelsea have started quite okay. I mean, mm -hmm. considering that they had a transfer ban and he has to use quite a number of, of yes. academy players. The team that has the bus that has to be Manchester United. Mm -hmm. Quite okay, of course. They got mm. Harry Maguire, mm. who is currently the most expensive footballer in the world. Uh, uh, defensive defender, def defender, defender in the, in the world. world. Yes. And then you, you look at their backline; it's still kind of manageable. Uh, yes, one Bissaka, of course. Yeah. The midfield uh, is also okay. They've got Pogba, mm. but McTominay is still there, and they've got um, Matic. Matic, who, of course. But we, when you go to the forward line, which football is all about scoring goals? Scoring goals. Manchester Lingard. United are lacking. Are lacking there. So what do you think? Would they make top six? Because I think top four I is I doubt it big very ask. much. I see the likes of Leicester. Okay, so let's rush Coming over in, now. Yeah. Let's just run with this. We're going to be taking on Ukraine. For me, I think uh, on Tuesday. Yes. It's a big thing that we're taking on a, a recognized European nation, a, quite a big nation like this. I mean, it did quite well last season. Exactly. Uh, for its previous club. And exactly. right now, Leo is also doing extremely well. So mm. I, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't start. It shouldn't be It there. should be the first choice. It should be the first choice. Wonderful. And of course, uh, Alexi will be kicked off... Uh, his first full start, of course, he scored a goal, Everton and all yes. of that. So uh, I think exciting times for the national team. Yes. For the Super uh, Eagles. Yes. Yes, okay, let's is. see how well we can do against Ukraine. That will be on <laughs> Tuesday. All right, thank you very much, Olamide. You're welcome. It was great having you on the show. All right, uh, that's all we can take on this discussion. Let's head over to Mary. She has something for us. Hello, Mary. All right, it's time for us to talk about something that is very salient at this moment, especially regarding the xenophobia attacks, uh, which recently occurred, and of course the reprisal attacks. Uh, with me is uh, BK Jayanti. Yeah, she is an elegant speaker with a unique blend of Eastern wisdom and Western education and culture. Uh, she's worked uh, tirelessly to promote positive human and spiritual values to all sectors of society. And it's such a pleasure to have you here today. Wonderful to be here with you. Good morning. 
Good morning. It's it's quite timely that you're here, uh, considering the fact that a lot has happened this week, this month, in fact, uh, mm -hmm. and it's just uh, the 6th of September. Uh, yeah. So when we talk about uh, the xenophobia attacks and uh, the anger that led to it uh, both ways, uh, you wonder how best to handle such a situation. Um, I'll give a very different perspective to the story okay. because what happens is that if one side is angry mm. and the other side feels the pain of that and reacts with anger, then you escalate the situation till the point that we are at now where there's just a huge amount of hatred and violence on both sides. Mm. Now, let's take a pause just for a moment and say, well, how long is this going to carry on this back and forth? And there isn't an end to it because there'll always be more, always more. And so is it possible to think a little bit differently and say, well, can I stop? And can I put out a different vibration, a vibration of peace, mm. of respect, so that then there's an end to that violence at this moment mm. and we can begin something else differently? because otherwise this is just going to be endless and it carries on forever. It takes a lot of courage, a lot of insight and realization to be able to say this and actually be able to do it also. But I don't see that there's another way out. And even if, for example, with police or army intervention, things become calm temporarily, it's only a temporary measure because the feelings underneath are still very raw and alive. And only when one side says, no more, we want to do things differently, then there's a possibility that there can be a transformation in the situation. However, if one side says enough and the other side is still attacking, uh, don't you think the one side that says enough is going to be wiped out eventually? Um, that's not usually how human beings work. Mm. If, for example, one side says stop, the other side is going to take a pause and say, what's going on? It's not something they were expecting. Mm. They were expecting retaliation. Mm. And so it's going to make them stop and think. And some voices of sanity are going to start speaking. Mm. When there's that intensity of anger and violence, nobody of peace wants to speak out. But once you give it even just a moment of pause, human conscience comes alive. And they're going to be able to say, but surely there can be a different way to resolve this. So when one side stops, the other side can then see reason to have, probably have dialogue and um, see to uh, settling whatever the issue might be. Now let's uh, take a look at uh, the events surrounding that particular incident. Uh, so many, especially in our side, that's talking about in Nigeria, uh, so many of the attacks were influenced by stuff being discussed on the internet. Right. And of course the internet is made up of people, yes, uh, but basically we might as well say faceless people because you never do know who is on the other side uh, of the phone and who is saying something. Uh, so as an individual using the internet, how can you better manage your emotions so you're not um, swept uh, along and under the violence or the feelings of reprisal? Yes, there's anger. You might be upset, but being more in control of your emotions, how can you do that? I think the first thing is to realize that the internet is an amazing tool the technology has given us and it shares information in a very positive way, mm -hmm. in an educational way. But there's also the other side, the dark side. Mm -hmm. And within that comes the situation where you don't know how much is a reality and how much is false news. Mm -hmm. You know, we never used to think about the concept of false news some years ago. True. But in the last few years, it's become a big story. Mm -hmm. And so now I think that when things are calm, not at a time of crisis, but when things are calm, I think we need to have an, a whole process of education mm -hmm. and communication in which we understand that things can be incited and inflamed by false news or exaggerated news. And so to be very cautious of what it is I see and hear. Mm. Um, I'll tell you a little story that I saw the other day. Okay. There's two people sitting on a plane and behind them is a mother and a child. Okay. And the child is saying to the mother, the wing of this plane, he's got a little toy plane. Oh, okay. The wing of this plane has broken. 
and the people in front don't see what's behind. They just hear these words, Mum, the wing of the plane has broken. And can you imagine what's going on through their oh, minds? Yeah. And they so think the wing of the plane they are exactly. in. Exactly. <laughs> so when I hear things, but I haven't actually been there and I haven't seen what's going on, yeah. you can see how dangerous it can be and how inflammatory it can be. Now that's just a little story, but it just gives you an illustration of how I hear something and I get het up about it True. and my emotions spill over. But what was the truth behind it? What was the reasoning behind it's it? It's important to actually right. meditate on that. To reflect on that Very and try important. and understand the significance of what's going on. So I think that we always need to be able to have a broader picture than we do at the present time to understand properly what's happening. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I know you have an event tomorrow. Yes, that's right. Okay. And I think it's very, very apt. When we thought about the title, we didn't know all this was going to happen. burst happen. Yeah. Um, so it's a program that's called, it's at the Civic Center on Victoria Island tomorrow evening okay. from six to eight. And the title is Clean Up Your Feelings. Clean Up Your Feelings. And okay. it's a free event. Okay. And people are invited to register by phoning this number. Zero eight one zero six two six two eight six six thank you very much thank you very much for being on the ship Welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. Ah, so much has gone on on the show. And with me in the kitchen this morning is Chef Debbie. And guess what, people? She's bringing a little bit of India into our kitchen. And she's making chicken pudimas. Yes. So quick, let's talk about the ingredients we're working with for our chicken pudimas. Okay, we're working with chicken breasts. Yeah. With some curry, some um, grand masala, some paprika, onion, Ginger. Which you used in steaming and seasoning yes. the chicken, chicken earlier on. Okay. Yeah. Ginger, garlic, onion, some eggs, and salt. So already, I already boiled the chicken with some of the spices okay. and onion. So I, I shred shredded the, the, yeah. you shredded the chicken after steaming it. Yeah. Okay. So it's chicken breast and it's very easy and soft mm -hmm. to shred. And then we have our side dish. Um, yeah, our potato, sweet, sweet, potatoes sweet potatoes already boiling. boiling up over there. Yeah. Okay, so this is a very simple, easy recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, we're waiting for our oil, um, oil to is heat up, yeah? Yeah. It's okay, so what's next? So That's sesame oil, yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. So we have sesame oil on the pan. I'll add in some onion. Okay. And what's next? Add some of the ginger and garlic, okay. just a little, because I already added some in the chicken. The, the, the and the chicken. stock is coming in here. Oh, okay. So like I said earlier on, this is an Indian meal recipe, mm -hmm. very easy to make. So what makes, so it's basically a fusion of chicken and Indian spices. spices. And the Indian spices we're making use of are uh, grand masala. Grand masala, they're supposed to be fennel. Oh, okay. You can use turmeric, but okay. I prefer curry. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, some cinnamon mm. with um, paprika. Paprika. Yeah. yeah. So I'll add in the spices. I have, this is grand masala. Okay. And this is some curry, curry. and some paprika. Mm, nice. This is gonna be quite colorful. Mm -hmm. Not that burst of colors that you'd be expecting though, but it's gonna be actually really and colorful. The flavors, is, um, the flavors are really nice. Yeah. yeah. So I'll add in. Our tomatoes. Yeah. Great. Already blended tomatoes, yeah? Yes, and okay. some chili. Okay. I take note, people, we have already shredded our already um, steamed chicken. And we're making use of chicken breast, which is already soft. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's the last thing going into the pan, yeah? Yeah, um, after the chicken, then I'll put the egg. Eggs. I'll make it well and okay. um, Make like a scrambled egg in the middle. Oh, okay. Before I now mix together with the chicken. Oh, okay. And then at what point does the chicken stop going? Right now, when I um, when I heat this up a bit uh, okay. to come in. Okay. Now. Okay. Hmm. So basically, what the egg's gonna do for this is just basically, you know, put it up together, like. Yeah. 
put all the ingredients together from okay nice so i didn't need to stock okay that's for my chicken yeah okay so we're going to leave that to boil for how long like five minutes okay so once that is ready we're tossing our chicken right yeah and then the last thing that goes into the pan is our eggs, eggs. So, and we're basically making a scrambled egg, egg. with our sauce already made sauce so guys if you're just joining us this morning this is chef debbie guys and she is making chicken podimas and of course we are having um, it alongside um, our sweet, sweet potatoes, potatoes yeah. already boiled sweet potatoes which will be you know up in a bit all right it's time for some interesting discussion with one of the most iconic figures in nollywood stay with <laughs> us <laughs> Wow, woo. Yes, you said it right. And when you say iconic, you can only describe a woman like this as iconic. Now, our guest today can be considered acting royalty in Nigeria, mm. Rachel Tobuno Oniga. Now, she's a famous Nollywood actress, producer, and so much more. She's, uh, she hails from Delta State. And she was born in Ebute Meta. Now, yes. she started her acting career far back as 1993. And uh, over the years, she's featured in notable Nigerian movies like Onome, Owo Blue, Shango, and of course, the timeless super story, as well as countless, countless others. It's such a pleasure to welcome you to the studio, ma. Thank you very much, darling. Welcome. <laughs> and you. I was I was expecting you to come in, maybe like all this rum, but you came in your slacks, like hey. the top, feeling very fly. I was like, yeah. Girl, hey, <laughs> what do you take me for? <laughs> hey, hey. I'm still on the road, yes. like you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so I... I I have to say, when, when we heard that you were coming, I was just really excited to hear, you know, some of those powerful uh, mm. insights and stories that you, you must have from when you started. I did mention Owo Blow earlier mm. on. The industry has changed from then. A lot. Please let us in. Let us in. Talk to us about it. Well, uh, <laughs> first of all, I must thank you for honoring me, for being here today, and uh, I can see a lot of things going on here. I can smell. <laughs> you can smell oh, the food. Oh, where's that coming from? The Boy. food. <laughs> Look at and that food. like I was telling you, can I have pepper soup? Mm. Not tea or coffee. Anyway, <laughs> that's by the way. Well, in those days, it was not easy mm. as it is now. Those days, you have to work, you go for auditions. I tell you, I, I know you guys these days, including my own children, you are having fun. You, you, you see, I can't walk from here to here. I have to take Uber or, wow. it, what do you call it, taxifier or taxifier? <laughs> my children said that I, 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 I don't get it. Either it's taxifier or taxify. <laughs> In those days, you know that we can trek hmm? from uh, Idumota to NTA, wow. Victoria Island. Wow. Sometimes we do that to CMS. Hmm. And, when, and sometimes we are at the National Art Theater, we go to the rooftop, we do rehearsals and all that hmm. before we go shoot. But now, you don't even know the director or hmm. the actors you are playing alongside with. Wow. So it's so rosy, rosy. I do you want to talk about the lighting when they hit our faces? Which it will be look burning. At, the whole place is cool now. You know, <laughs> AC, comfortable and all that. Where do you get that from then? We really worked. And it paid because uh, we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. we, we learned a lot from producers, directors in NTA and all that then because they were directors and at the same time they were teaching. You know, so you, you virtually get your lines and everything in place, your characterization. You have it discussed properly with the director and the, you know who is who, what you're playing. But now you just come in and the script is there and you do it. But somehow well, uh, we are trying. Yes, I guess. You. We are, we are. That is not to say you write the present uh, way of, doing the job 
we write it off. No, they are trying. It's like maybe it has its own ups and downs. But I tell you, darling, technically, yeah. we've so, so improved. We've improved greatly. I'm so glad you mentioned that because I know that you have a brand new project that's launching today. Yes. And I, we need to talk a little bit about that. Um, what's the title of, of your next It's It's uh, London Sleeve. Okay. And uh, the point is this particular story, it touched my heart. Okay. Because ordinary, you say these days, it's ordinary, simple, day-to-day -day stories mm. that you find in cinemas. But the way they are treated is what matters. Mm. I least expected this to go this far. Wow. Because it was like a child's play. But the story ah, is what is happening. Abuse. Mm. It, like most of us now in Nigeria, we think, it's a woman's abuse or bathroom or child abuse that is the in thing. I tell you, men are even more abused. You will ask me why. Either psychologically, monetarily, mm -hmm. physically. You know, some women and husband beat us. Wow. Yes. But the point is, the men, they cannot come out and say it, that my wife is doing... Some women are so terrible, and that is what this movie is all about, is teaching. I have, I have your, your cast members as the amazing uh, Jide Kosoko, yeah. uh, Daniel Lloyd, mm. uh, Cordelia Eme. That's uh, the producer. The producer, and then Uche Odoputa, mm -hmm. uh, Lucien Morgan, Yetinde Wumi, and it's called My London Slave, the movie, and it's um, in cinemas nationwide from today? Of course, yes, from today. And if you go out and watch it, you'll love it because a lot of laughter, you've got a lot to learn from, but <laughs> the women, men, even young ones who intend to go into marriage. You know, sometimes some young ones now, they are scared of getting into... Very true. You know, so but you... that conversation is a long one. I know we will have the opportunity to discuss that another time but i have to stop you there i have to stop you there we have so much more coming up on uh, on the show and it's actually such a pleasure to meet you don't worry that food you are you are tasting it today i wonder to prepare pepper soup don't worry. for you you are tasting it today yeah. not to worry <laughs> It's about time for us to begin the third hour of Wake Up Nigeria. You do not want to miss it. Back again. Two hours has gone by already, and that was a very quick two hours. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh wow! And that was a nice interview with uh, the one and only Rachel Oniga just now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. It's anyway, good. it's still Wake Up Nigeria. This mm -hmm. is the third hour, and we're still going strong and powerful. Yes, we and are. We keep it going. And as always, Friday is game day, so we have so much plan. Yeah, plan, 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 plan. we have that game vibe going mm -hmm. on today. It's we gonna be nice. Forty-five minutes left in yeah. the show. Uh, hopefully you're right there with us throughout. Uh, before we wrap things up, my name is Titi Laya Oinsa. And my name is Yomi Hope. We're streaming live right now, don't forget. So if you're going to leave the house, don't forget to take the website with you. Mm -hmm. TVCentertainment.tv is that website you need to go to. Yes, indeed. Send in those comments, contributions. What have you, or, you know, what do you think about the show so far today? Uh, the people we've had on the show, so many different things have happened. Mm. Check them out online. Please wake up Nigeria on TVC is the hashtag. Yeah, and of course, um, our app is also one thing you should be checking out uh, this morning. Yes. You can find it on the Google Play Store and the Apple iStore as well. Now, this amazing app allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world. Yes, indeed. Joining us in a little bit with an a cappella performance is The Glamours yeah. the music group. Looking forward up. to it. <laughs> And 
stand for a chat. Yeah, TT has been screaming uh, games and also <laughs> games. It's going to be happening very shortly. Yes, sir. Uh, Nigerian comedian, actor, and musician. Musician? Oh, he's a musician as well. Yes. Prince that drunk is going to be with us today. <laughs> At an angle of 70 degrees hemisphere, I pushed and the team went fra. Pa, 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 pa. Skinny, pa, pa. <laughs> it wears me out that sometimes when he's doing interviews, you will never do the drunk thing. Really? So I want to see what kind of character oh, he's yeah. going to bring uh, up today. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I, th I think Look. it's just really good acting, you know. Mm. Uh, if you can keep a character for so long and be believable in yeah, it. Yeah, still, know, it's really it's, good acting. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, I, I really want to talk about this flamingo a little bit more. I love this outfit. Actually, we're really? supposed to come back to MM's career choices. <laughs> and, uh, coming back from giving birth and how she wants to be an actress. Oh, wow. You know oh, I'm a PR God. guy. Look, I'm the guy you should be... Look, I can make it happen. Okay, you know, wow. Can, so you just say it and uh, hook you up with a few producers, get you some auditions, and okay. you're well on your way. Um, of course, we still have to have a conversation with your husband. That's a separate conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because um, my husband is one of my biggest supporters. Yeah. And um, so talking about acting, we've actually had that discussion several times because I've been given opportunities to go into the movie industry. But for some reason, I just feel like I am not ready for it. Mm. Mm. There's a lot I of pressure know. there. I just feel like I'm not ready. Like yeah. The way uh, Rich, Rachel Oniga was talking about auditions, yeah. I, I, I still have some trauma from some auditions <laughs> I went for. Someone <laughs> reminded me she's of uh, an audition I went for at NTA. So NTA, they didn't, there was no canopy, nothing. We're all standing in the sun, and they just left us there to stand in a circle. And then uh, the lady comes out and stands in the center of us and starts pointing at the one she wants. Are you serious? Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, yeah, you. And you. Point and kill. Yeah, you. Oh, yeah, turn yeah, around. Point I never around. kill. I never forget. <laughs> this Wait, did, you, did you hear that? Where turn around. As turn in around. you. We were, turn around. Turn around. Let me see specimens. I'm telling oh. you. For what? It, they want uh, so they want to see what you're like. Oh, so, uh, so what happens yeah. is this. Uh, yeah. And there's this audition I went for, and it was for a modeling show, the calendar job. Very popular place. I can't mention them. And so and I came in. So normally, first thing you do is you always try to come very early. Mm. I know how many jobs I've gotten just because I was the first person or second person. Are you serious? Yes, mm -hmm. that alone can you count. You just live there. Ah. Uh, so it doesn't there. work like that <laughs> all the time. So <laughs> get early. But then when you're not early and then people are now so many and the guys are overwhelmed, they just come in. So I remember that day, I just came in. So I was coming big, but I just put on sheets. And then the, the lady just came in front. I was so, I just go gather around so many. She was on the rush stream and all over. And then there was an old lady by my side who just hit me and said, take off your glasses. Mm. <laughs> just... Okay. So, you know how this is a point, uh, catfish? <laughs> that one, that one, that one, that one. Enter. <laughs> That's how they do it. That's how I'm they do it. I'm telling you, I got that job. Very... It was a calendar job. Yeah. Uh, you don't see me. I got that job. I, I look for that lady to say, oh, thank you for telling me. Call. I'll look for me, uh, but like, oh, God, take off. Yeah. Not to see what you have. I attended one. I attended ah. one. And actually, <laughs> if you like, laugh at me. Afterwards, we became connection. You have a job for me, call me. Wow. As in, I just stop. Because I just look at that under the sun, yeah. And at the end of the day, if you know how much we are being paid, pittance. Yeah. Let's not even go there. Yeah. But it was just sorting some things. But wow. there is somewhere we need to go, though. And that's yeah. to the news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and that's, you know, the, the, the stories, <laughs> they're, like, they're like horror stories. <laughs> and, and it's not that deep. <laughs> they are. Some people are. actually have some horror stories mm -hmm. yeah. from the modeling industry. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> we hope it will get better. Yeah. Anyway, we'll stop. Hey, it's time for our performance right here in the garden. And I've got the glamours here. Yes, they are an a cappella group. Let's meet them quickly. What's your name? I'm Joe. Joe. Okay, so what's your name? David. I'm Collins. Collins. I'm Grace. Grace. I'm precious. Precious. Even your voice is precious. Victoria. Victoria. Okay, so that's the victor amongst you guys. Yeah. Okay, so what are you guys performing for us this morning? Um, an a cappella. A combination of songs. Two songs pulled together. Okay. Which I said, um, Omewea. Or may we, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to step back and let you perform right now. Right. Okay? Oh, may we know to to a. Oh, may we know to to a. 
Ome wo ya na bale Jehovah me wo ya Ome re ya lo ge ya Ome wo no tutu e Ome wo ya ne i he Ome wo ya na bale Jehovah me wo ya Ome re ya lo ge ya Jehovah me wo ya Ome wo ya Jehovah jare My story, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior. Amazing, amazing. That a cappella group. Uh, hopefully, we'll have them on some other time because you know, they're, they're quite talented. Quite amazing there. Someone else who's quite talented has just stepped into the building and decided to fall asleep. Yeah. Uh, but we'll wake him up eventually. <laughs> we'll wake him up. Alpha yeah. Mefuna. <laughs> Clint. Maybe you should call Gwimba. him three times. Maybe that's what his mother used to Clint. call him. Clint! No, not Clint. Afamefuna. Afamefuna. Mm? Yeah. So, like, if in Nigeria they now found out <laughs> that the first thing that they need yeah. to move everything uh, forward mm. is when the backward movement. Wow. Wait, what was Have it? you arrived? No, no. Mm? Have yeah. you arrived? You've arrived now. We, we've not uh, asked any question. Now, <laughs> Clint. <laughs> Is uh, a popular Nigerian no, comedian. No, I'm popular. Mm. He's an actor, a musician, a musician, dancer. Mm. He's a dancer. <laughs> okay. I was in doubt. Wait, wait. The way you said it, it's like you have just let it out that you are reading from somewhere. <laughs> Because you say he's a dancer. He's a dancer. That means you don't even know the information. No. Well, somebody was telling me in my ear. No, I'm telling you. Wait, you know, wait telling let me ear. ask you a question. Would tell, someone tell you in your eye before? Wait, wait. Because I know that now that you are woken up, yes. you were sleeping before. That is why they say, allow the sleep. Let the sleeping dog lie. Yeah, sleeping dog. Do you know why? Why? Because when they lie, we'll never understand when they tell the truth. When they tell the truth. But this is not sleep Nigeria, it's wake up Nigeria. So uh -huh. yeah. Did you not wake me up? Am I not in Nigeria? Yes. What's yeah. the first question? <laughs> the first question is, you've been, you've been awake mm. all night. So you do this comedy uh, comedy nights every every Thursday. Yes, comedy club, not comedy nights. It's club. Comedy club C every L Thursday. Club, L-M-C-B-L-E-C-O, club. Club. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. That's the spelling. So you do it every every Thursday night. Thursday night. And we then went to the island and just grabbed you. Yes. Right out of there and I'm dragged you. Yeah. No, we dragged you here. Yes. Against your will. Against my will. Mm. <laughs> will you? So I, I have I have always wanted to ask this. Thank question. God, it's you that have it. Mm -hmm. This question is very simple. Very simple. On the international stage. International when you stage. When introduce yourself. As Clint the drunk. Yes. What is the response? The response has to be the response that responsible people give. Okay. Uh, because they must have found out that the, those people know me. That's why they called me to the international stage. Okay. So, did it be known for <laughs> being, for being a drunkard. Yes. Good. Internationally. Yes. You've never had any pushback or kickback from that. Nobody has kicked me. If they kick me, I kick them back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but your your drunken character mm. in quotes mm. is 
not, not alcohol induced. Yes, thank you. It is money induced. You pay me, I hire. <laughs> Once I see bank alert, I hire. I hire on cash. Okay. Mm. I like this it. is the best high, high in this world. Mm. Let me ask you a question. If they call you idiot and they pay you 1,000 naira, okay. each time they call you idiot, how many times would you call, want them to call you idiot in a day? Uh, a few more than once. Few more than once. <laughs> Two thousand times. Mm. Okay. Idiot. But, but I no, have to you say, you must pay. No, don't say that. I always mm. had pay first. Eh? I should yeah. pay. You must pay first. I didn't tell you who was paying. Uh, <laughs> I just said if they call you idiot, if yeah. I now if the calling, mm. so we would if the payment. I you just, you I already said it was going to make this difficult for us. Yeah. Mm. So we we already planned. We're going to set him up for the game. Set me up on the game. I set you out. Like so that you will understand that we're the owners of this show. Still on the matter of comedy. You still the matter. Internationally. Mm. Have the um, Alcoholics Anonymous ever come for you? To yes. Talk about the only problem they have is that they don't have a union. They don't have a union. Yes, because by the time they want to fund the union, they throw up. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Those ones are high on alcohol. Really? Uh, but me, I'm high on alcohol. You cash. know what I'm talking about. If, for instance... <laughs> You know, there are some people whose families who have they have been affected by yeah. alcohol, right. or maybe they've lost a family member, mm. and then you come up on stage and say that is your whole act. That is why, at the end of uh, my act, most times you always hear me say, "Drink responsibly, leave the drunkenness for me." Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Which you, is so many people don't realize the fact that what I do is to show you, you. Wait, which camera am I pointing? The red one. Mm. <laughs> I show you, you people there that drink and drink anyhow. Mm. This is what you are. Mm. This is what you look like. This is what you behave like when you are high. Mm. Do you understand? <laughs> this is what you look. If you want, if you notice, they are laughing at me. Other <laughs> comedians come, they laugh at their joke. These ones are laughing at me. People laugh at you when you are mm. drunk and you behave stupidly. Mm. Mm. So. Mm. If you think that my thinking is not the thing that you want me to think when you are thinking, then you are thinking the wrong thing. If you understand. Now, I, know, no. I, know, I know that one of the... <laughs> not at all. I don't understand. But I know that one of the things that calms you mm. is, is uh, the thought of your wife and three kids. I saw a recent photograph mm. that you put on Instagram. I was mm. like, oh, mm. this guy. Actually, this guy is a responsible guy. We didn't Very responsible in an irresponsible way. <laughs> A lot of people don't actually know you can speak very good English. And they will not know. You don't want to... We're trying to set you up that way. You we're can never set you. me up. Me, we're trying to me push that you. is Mr. Uh, they, do you know, they set me up to the extent that the people that set me up set up their own setup. Mm. Mm. How? I don't know. They just <laughs> fell victim. That's all. Okay. So can we ask you what your what your rates are so that my rates if we want to hire you for, a, we for a wedding <laughs> uh, what if you want to lower me <laughs> you know, we want to hire you let's hire you first mm. okay if you want to hire me ladies and gentlemen my rates are zero zero no uh, um, uh, no <laughs> you call me and i'll tell you rates. i'll give you <laughs> how much now uh, that is the no, much i'm telling you free advert we give you no uh, it's not free advert but it's, it's, it's free will fine uh, if you want to hire clean the drunk it's 50k mm. Really? Yes. Beautiful. Use 50k to call me. <laughs> <laughs> registration fee. Registration. registration. No refund. <laughs> <laughs> After the negotiation, if we don't agree, you are 50k. No. <laughs> okay, but I, I've always actually wondered: Do you actually drink? Yes, I drink water. Beautiful. Very liquid water. Okay. That's the one that is liquid that you can pour out. Okay. And then mm -hmm. put in your mouth, drink, uh, and your throat will be going. <coughs> okay, the so one that the color is. So uh, I have to rephrase that question. Do you actually exactly. drink alcohol? <laughs> yes. You do. Yes. You do. Yes. You don't need it. In no. moderate. In mm -hmm. yeah, you, don't you, need it. you don't no, need it. No, in moderation. Uh, no. I drink alcohol. Then when I wake up, I realize it was only a dream. <laughs> 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 So you think oh alcohol you you're also an actor. <laughs> yes. And you, these are... As that means, uh, just in case you are not familiar with modern facilities, that means I act in film. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I also want to... Don't worry, I'm familiar. Okay. Because of your family. And you... <laughs> 
the movie. There are several. There are several movies that you've been involved in. Mm. Not seven. Uh, it's more than seven. Several. Okay, several. Mm. That is seven. Uh, in the, seven in, in multiple. Multiple yeah. progression. And <laughs> it looks like. No, it do, doesn't look. It you looks, have watched the movie, not looked the movie. Uh, I watched it the watch movie. like. But. You must say it watches like. It watches like. Can you imagine? <laughs> I made you speak with this English in his own program. See, and he said he owns the it program. It seems like. It seems like. Uh, yeah. well, just, okay. Seemingly. Okay. So that a, true, lot, a lot of films that you've done mm. have a, character, a characterization, which is. The drunk act. Clint, uh, so mm. once you see Clint. That means you know what's not the movies oh, are acted. Now. Once you see Clint drunk, you know that, okay, this is Clint drunk. Mm. Yeah. So are there films that you have said to yourself that I want to be able to be known as a different character mm. this yes. time around. Mm. I have so many films, I said it, but I didn't act in it. Okay. Well, yeah. So are there films that are coming up that you... Yes, want? there are films that are coming up that I do not fool myself in this way, but I fool myself in another way. Okay. So in like every in way, there where, must be a fool. where you would be a, a man of God, like a pastor? Yes, there was one I was a man of God. It's coming out soon. I've forgotten the name. <laughs> yeah, okay, they have not given it the name before I left the set. But I was a man of God, but thunder fired me in that movie. Wow. <laughs> There's the second one. The other one, when I acted in Dry, I was the most frustrated doctor. Dry, mm. Stephanie Lannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I was a frustrated... In fact, they fr in fact... I didn't have to go into character. When I saw the place they gave me as my office, I was frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> as a doctor, I was and, so frustrated. And on that drunken note, we have to take a quick break. You want to break me? Yes, indeed. With this uh, mallet that is on the floor. Let's take a break, y'all. <laughs> we'll right it's back. game day! Um, you give them. Go ahead. All right, so we are back. And it's game day. <laughs> I have in the um, white corner oh. Clint the Drunk, internationally known comedian, and the one and only internationally known actress, Mrs. What's Rachel. The, 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 the colorful, the rainbow corner. Can you imagine? It's it's not not the corner. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's pink, there's red, there's yellow. Is that rainbow? There's, there's Is that uh, pink in rainbow, Clint? There's uh, pink in rainbow. That means the rainbow. There's the pink drank in a Niger the Nigerian <laughs> rainbow. Clint, they are in trouble today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know me. Okay, so this is a game of spontaneity, and I have with me. Um, Only he will play the game. <laughs> We're on live TV. I'm just telling you now. Ooh, well, we're on dead TV. Oh. <laughs> Go on, Josh. Shoot. OK, so you're going to pick a piece of paper from here. A scarf. So it's spontaneity, so spontaneous acting. Mm. After all, we're all actors. Mm. So Who says? We're all pencil in the hand of the creator. Mm. <laughs> okay. like you are like the pencil with a longer eraser. Yeah. Mm. So you will pick a piece of paper here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the lady. Mm. And then Who I'm going to read a lady? Out. A lady is... Um, an I'm not a lady, like let me pick. Okay, where I pick. So you pick it and then you hand it over to me. So I'll read oh, out the take, number. Take, 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 take. Hmm. So I'm going to read out the number and the instruction on it. Hmm. Number 10. That's for the director so that he knows what to put up. And uh, make your best impression of a Nigerian artist on set shooting his music video. Say that again. Make your best impression of mm. a Nigerian artist, a Davido or Wizkid or any of these guys, uh, shooting their music video on set. So mm -hmm. this is your set now. You have your dancers behind you. OK, they are dancing. And you, are, you have your chains on your neck, okay. your gold watch, mm. bling, bling. your Ferrari. OK, this it's is the, this is the bonnet of your Ferrari. You think it's on, no? Uh -huh. This is the bonnet of mm. <laughs> 2004, no, I want to choose somebody. Uh -huh. I can choose two. Yes. Two. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Are we getting that? <laughs> Who is that? 
Sorry, Ade. Yeah, I'm supposed to try past that too. Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. I, I was I was noticing the movement. The movement. Because the movement. you went off the camera. Did I? Did <laughs> you show the, me the boundary? Oh. Is it or no? Uh, uh, the camera is following you now. Okay. Do the, the one that um she, she I think is Baba Frayo. Something they worry you just sit down. Okay, so which artist was that? Any of the any above. Of is any, 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 that means I got So number nine, number ten is down. Let's pick one. I got one it. other one. Yes, you got it. I'm not greedy, so I used I chose the one the paper is. So more. this is number five. Give your best best impression of a lady trying to hold in ah. the public. Oh, the hold in the very simple. It's simple, lip you, they say lip, lip tank you. It's lip tank you. I have a short, long girl. Uh. <laughs> Don't do the proper one, no. <laughs> Don't make mistake. If you do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hold it well, hold it well, hold it well. But you'll be the first to do this. So. <laughs> okay, I think. Wait, I'm holding it. In. <laughs> you see, holding it. Mm -hmm. wow. you no, know, as I said, I think the thing came real. I <laughs> first. Just get out of here. I'm, I'm telling you the facts. Come, I need to go okay. off this camera and do go something. Go. Please go there. Uh, and do it. Come back here. Eh? We are not done. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm, I'm trying to okay, hold so something. You're up next. Which can I do? Are we now? going to finish all this? Are we going to finish it, director? It's when director says we should stop. I'm not sure we'll finish it, but yeah. Uh, give an impression of a guy or a girl who just got a contract he has been pursuing for months. This one's easy now. Very easy. You've acted it's it all, before. Who says? It's all smiles. Contract has just come. Oh, God. Container has clear. It's not container. Contract. It is still contract. Contract. Contract, contract of the container has it, clear. From the ministry. The Lord has done it. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. But my own contract has not come. <laughs> they did say you should act the opposite. I don't care. Or I choose. <laughs> okay, we have another number here. Picked by Clint the Drunk. Uh -uh. What's the meaning of all this? You are in a closed door meeting with your boss. Ah, uh -uh, clean. Why is that meeting? Uh, uh, all of them has to do with fat and mess. I mean, you just say you know you go go so take your, budget, you reach your also. boss or your ogre fat and it stinks so bad. How will you uh -huh. react? Okay, it depends on the boss. They are true. They are true. This is the boss in question. No, it's you. You are no. the boss <laughs> because I want to wait <laughs> now. I know why. You will see. If you are treating me well, uh, okay, yes. and you mess, uh, and those ones that enter the eye, <laughs> that bring tears, like tears, I'll guy. be like this. <laughs> I won't want to open my mouth, so this it you can't hold enter your the breath. mouth. So you I'll, will hold your breath, yes. and I'll be smiling. Mm. 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 Okay, if the other way around, if it's the other way around. Eh? Mm. And you mess, mm -hmm. and the thing comes oh. as he approach me. I'm sorry, madam. Um, no, don't talk, don't talk. <laughs> they say you should not talk. The contract is going to expire. <laughs> Let me go and... I'm going to call them on the phone. Hmm, madam, you're too <laughs> much. You no, are no. a holder. Let's Greater is okay. this is okay, in I think we're done. I think we're done with the games. No, we're and, not done. Okay, no. so we'll, let's do one more. Let's I just continue. We'll, we'll finish this. We'll finish so we'll this today. Go. One more, one more. The food is getting cold. In Which food? Uh, uh, food? Let's go. 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 let us go and as you can see, <laughs> we are in baby shower mode. Yes. Wait, wait. Are guys, are guys normally baby shower? Yes, guys come for baby showers. But they do. When they come, 
They bring gifts. So where is your gift? Wait, do they uh, come? Do when they guys come, come for me, Mike's gift is later. I've never seen any baby shower with a guy. No, but they are actually. You've never seen any baby shower with a guy. So, they, so it's, not, oh, it's not awkward that no. I'm holding this. Okay. No. You're not. <laughs> right, I'm okay now. I'm okay now. I just want to... But I have a I question. For <laughs> everyone on the team, yeah. what do you think it's going to be? Is it a boy? Or is it a girl? Mary, you first. What do you think? What do you think? Uh-uh. Why? <laughs> Chef Debbie, what do you think? A boy. A boy? Why? Why, do, why, why would you think so? Why? I don't know. I'm just saying. Why? I just, I don't know. You just I feel like a boy? boy? Yeah. Mike, what about you? What do you think? Huh. It is whatever she wants it to be. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah, like okay. well, That's I, what it is. I actually think it's twins. And ah! it's one girl <laughs> and no. one boy. They're, triplets. Twins go we triplets. We're only allowing one Mama Ibedi on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The way you've been carrying this, uh, you know, bundle, it looks like it's two. I don't know. I'm just hopeful, you know? Just, uh, I need another. Oh, boy. <laughs> Are we getting that? <laughs> Who is that? Uh, sorry, I'm there. Sorry, I'm there. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm supposed to try past that no. too. Okay, sorry. Uh, I, I, was, I was noticing the movement. The movement. Yes. Because you went off the camera. Did I? You <laughs> did show the, me the boundary. Uh, is still or no? Uh, uh, the camera is following you now. Okay. The, the one that, um, she, she, I think is Baba Fryo. Something they worry you. Just sit down. Okay, so which artist was that? Uh, any of any the above. Is any, uh, any that means well, I got well, it. Well, choose, choose, hmm? choose, 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 choose. So number nine, number ten is down. Let's pick one. I got one it. Other one. Yes, you got it. I'm not greedy, so I used, I chose the one the paper is. So more. this is number five. Give your best best impression of a lady trying to hold in ah! a fast public. Oh, the whole thing is very simple. It's simple lip now. You, they say lip, lip tank you. Lip it's lip tank you. that I have a short, long girl. Mm. <laughs> Don't do the proper one, no. <laughs> Don't make me say, if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> hold it well, hold it well, hold it well. <laughs> Oh boy. Jennifer! <laughs> oh boy. Clint, but you'll be the first to do this. So. Okay, I think. Wait, now I'm holding it. In. You still holding it? Mm -hmm. wow. You know, as I started acting, the thing came real. I <laughs> it first. Don't get out of here. I'm, I'm telling you the facts. Come, I need to go okay. off this camera and do oh, something. Oh, please go there. Uh, and do it. Come back here. Eh? You are not done. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm, I'm trying to okay, hold so something. You're up next. Which kind of are we going around? to finish all this? Are we going to finish it, director? It's when director says we should stop. I'm not sure we'll finish it, but yeah. Uh, give an impression of a guy or a girl who just got a contract he has been pursuing for months. This one's easy now. Very easy. You've acted it's it before. So, who says? It's all smiles. Contract and... has just come. Oh, God. Container has clear. It's not container. Contract. It is contract. still contract. Contract. Contract, contract. contract. contract of the container the, has the, clear. From the ministry. The Lord has done it. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. But my own contract has not come. <laughs> they did say you should act the opposite. I don't care. <laughs> or I choose. <laughs> okay, we have another number here. Picked by Clint the Drunk. Uh -uh. What's the meaning of all this? You are in a closed door meeting with your boss. Ah, uh -uh, Clint. Why is there All of them has to do with fat and mess. I mean. You sure say you know, you go go so to the you your reach your also. your boss or your ogre fats and it stinks so bad. How will you uh -huh. react? Okay, it depends on the boss. They are true, they are true. This is the boss in question. No, it's you, you are no. the boss. <laughs> because I want to, wait <laughs> now, I know why. You will see. If you are treating me well, uh, okay, yes. and you mess, uh, and those ones that enter the eye, <laughs> that bring tears, like tear I'll guy. be like this. 
I won't want to open my mouth. <laughs> so this, you can hold your the breath. Mouth, so you I'll, will hold your breath. Yes. And I'll be smiling. Mm. 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 Okay, it's the other way around. If it's the other way around, eh? mm. I will mess. Mm. And the thing comes oh. as he approached me. I'm sorry, madam. Um, no, don't <laughs> talk, don't talk. <laughs> They say you should not talk. The contract is going to expire. <laughs> Let me go and... I'm going to call them on the phone. Hmm, madam, you too <laughs> much. You are well, a holder. Let's Greater go. is okay. this is Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done with the games. No, and we're not done, Okay, no. so we'll, let's do one more. Let's I'll do one more. We'll, we'll, we'll finish this. We'll finish this today. One more, one more, one more. The food is getting cold in the Which food? Uh, food? Let's go. 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 let us go let us no, but they are actually. You don't see anybody picture. Baby showers with guys. So, yeah, so it's not, oh, it's not awkward that no. I'm holding this. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm okay now. I'm okay now. I'm just like, <laughs> but I have a I question don't... for everyone on the team. Yeah. What do you think it's going to be? Is it a boy or is it a girl? Mary, you first. What do you think? What do you think? Uh-uh. Why? <laughs> Chef Debbie, what do you think? A boy. A boy? Why? Why, do, why, why would you think so? Why? I don't know. I'm just saying. Why? I just, I don't know. You just feel like a boy? Yeah. Mike, what about you? What do you think? Huh. It is whatever she wants it to be. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Whatever it is. Okay. Well, That's why it is. I actually think it's twins and ah! it's <laughs> one girl no. and one boy. They're, twins go, twins go. We're only allowing one Mama Ibedi on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The way you've been carrying this, uh, you know, bundle, it looks like it's two. I don't know. I'm just hopeful, you know? Just, uh, I need another can't, twin can't mommy be three. on the show. It, it could be three. I just know that that's just it. That yeah, just it. Just lock you up. <laughs> uh, at least we know we come with four years sh for sure confirmed. Really, um, we love you, MM. You know you we do, of you course. Know? I do. Yes, so. I'm gonna I miss do. the show. Actually, I am really gonna miss the show. Um, and I, what I'm gonna be watching on social media mm -hmm. and on live television. Welcome. Yes, what do we have here? Welcome. Okay, this is the soup. Is it? Where is it? No, it's there. Come on, come on. Please take. Check on one entrance. No, well done. Please come and take a seat. Mm -hmm. Can somebody help me yeah. up? Okay. Don't take it away from here. Just I beg. Help me up. Me up. Yeah. Uh, that's what you say. Sit down. Not yeah. take a seat. <laughs> so we're having a mini baby shower for ML. For for ML. Oh! <laughs> Today's our, today's our last yes. day on the show. Oh, uh, until until we, until when she calls back from her until, maternity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, yes. it's a boy Why is her name M M? It's as if they are thinking M M. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. But we need musical. We need music. We, yeah, we need yeah. music. Yeah. 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 It's baby shower now. <laughs> yes, baby shower. Baby shower. Baby shower. Baby shower. So, Live baby shower on TV. Yes, thank you. So this yes. is um a piece. Of a piece from us to you, yes, from Chef De Chef Devi, yes, and uh, this is um, boiled potatoes with chicken pudimas. Yeah, mm. Mm. it would have been better if we have pepper soup. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. No, um, my, my question is the name of the food. Okay. You know, they chicken said pudimas. don't eat it if you cannot spell it. Mm -hmm. What is pudimas? Pudimas <laughs> is an Indian-inspired. India. Yeah. Oh. 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 What? <laughs> you have to taste this one, Shao. Please taste it, taste it. And as they're having a taste, uh, we're gonna be, you know, oh, talking yeah. to MM on the phone, yeah. online, yeah. until she comes back with that beautiful baby. Yes, indeed. We love you, MM, and we Thank love you. all of you at home as well. Yeah, I wanna say a big thanks to you.